After the boat hull has been dried, properly sanded, and all hull blisters have been repaired, the boat is ready for primer application. The first thing to do is check your moisture meter to determine the amount of moisture in the hull itself. The hull should be as dry as possible. Next, apply three consecutive layers of tape evenly at the waterline, each about a sixteenth of an inch lower than the one before. Remove one tape line between each coat to ensure a cleaner, low-profile waterline edge. Each of the Tough Stuff components must be thoroughly mixed with a power shaker until uniformly mixed before application. After shaking, stir the primer with a paint stick to ensure the coating is free of lumps. Proceed to mix part one and part two in a one-to-one -one ratio. Hand mixing is not recommended. Thoroughly mix with a jiffy mixer or equivalent. Allow for a 20 to 30 minute induction time before applying your first coat of Tough Stuff. During the induction time, clean the hull surface with S80 Wax and Grease Killer to remove any impurities from the hull. Now you're ready to apply the first coat of Tough Stuff Epoxy Primer. Once the first coat of Tough Stuff is applied to the hull evenly, use the mill gauge to determine your wet film thickness. You should have about 10 to 15 mils of wet film thickness for each of the two coats of Tough Stuff. To verify that you're ready for the second coat of Tough Stuff, utilize the thumbprint test. Press your thumb firmly against the hull, which should leave an indentation, but no material should come off on your thumb. Then, apply the second coat of Tough Stuff, preferably perpendicular to the first coat for a more even finish. To ensure the best coverage, you should alternate colors of Tough Stuff, gray and white. This is helpful to see the coverage as you're applying it. You will notice the contrast between the gray and white Tough Stuff coats. Be sure to properly mix the second coat of Tough Stuff thoroughly and allow the 20 to 30 minute induction time before application. To verify that you're ready for the first coat of bottom paint, utilize the thumbprint test again. If you wait longer than 24 hours after applying the second coat of Tough Stuff to apply the first coat of bottom paint, you will need to apply a third coat of Tough Stuff or sand the hull surface before applying the first coat of bottom paint. Next, shake the anti-fouling paint and you're ready for application. The last step is to apply the anti-fouling bottom paint thoroughly and evenly. Two coats should be applied, and then a third coat at the waterline. And with that, the Tough Stuff application process is complete. Wait for an overnight dry before launching your boat.